Hey guys, it's Kazaris back with a really cool deck profile actually. Um, so I'm on the wrong character here. We'll see you in a sec. Um, so it's not Dark Magician like you see there because I always forget to change my deck titles. Uh, it is Token Control. Um, so the theory behind this credit goes to uh, Mercury and the Duel Links Meta Discord. He gave me the idea and I kind of ran with it and refined it a little bit. Um, so the idea here is um, <clears throat> you're using Sky Blaster and Fires of Doomsday to allow you to control the board, essentially. So, uh, do, uh, they both get two monsters on the board. Uh, Sky Blaster gets a token, um, but two monsters on the board. I got a needle sealing. If your opponent has two monsters, you can clear the entire field. Uh, so technically it's a neg one in that sense, um, but you're using tokens for um, the cost of the cards, or the, to meet the condition of the cards. So you're not really losing any advantage, um, especially when you're interrupting their momentum by getting rid of two of their monsters, and that should probably like, for, I guess for higher, that should screw them up pretty hard. Um, uh, the three Canadia, uh, since it's the best trap of the three here, I'm going to max out on it. Um, like, it's the most versatile. Like, Apple's is situational, and Kneeling is a little more situational. Um, like, it's good. Like, I want to see it, but I'd rather see Canadia more. Um, and then the Econ and Creature Seizure, same concept behind both, except Econ and Quick Play, so you can do it for game. Um, but Creature Seizure is permanent, so if you're de-drawing from one of them, it just depends on your situation, what you're going to want here. Uh, let me just change it to level three. Uh, and then you have the one plasma uh, and the two witch raider. So witch raider can be tribute summoned by using the doomsday tokens, or if your sky blaster happens to live with the token, then you can burn them for six hundred in the in the standby phase and then tribute for witch raider. Uh, just some power plays here with D draw. Um, plasma is fantastic. It's a skill drain and relinquished in one. And then the golden apples. So Mercury wasn't playing these, but I like them. And <laughs> as we'll see the one of these replays, some dude gets boned by them, and it's hilarious. Um, so yeah, so like, like this gives me like mausoleum vibes, like mausoleum essence kind of, but also similar to Mecha Phantom Beast in its playstyle. Like, or actually similar to mausoleum in its playstyle, and like as a concept, more similar to Mecha Phantom Beast because you're playing conservatively. Um, like. You're probably just like setting fire, setting Canadia, setting golden apples, and then you just wait for them to do stuff. So. They target Doomsday, you chain it, get two tokens, and not cool, you wait until end phase, and then now you have a Witch Raider summon, or uh, if you Sky Blaster and then Econ take. I don't know, actually, this might have to be. I haven't used it in any of the few games I've played with this, but this might have to be Atmosphere because I'm starting to notice that three monsters on the board might be difficult. Like Doomsday and Sky Blaster is three there. Um, but you're not getting like full value out of it, I guess, because you're sacrificing your Sky Blaster summon and stuff like that. But anyway, there's the uh, deck idea. Uh, D draw is uh, absolutely fantastic. Um, so let's get into some replays here. Uh, crap. I think it's this one. Yeah, it's, yeah, yep. I don't title them, so like I just go by character, and I'm like, oh, I use this character, so it's this one. But I used Yami in the last one, so like <laughs> I never think for a second. So both against for higher here. This one, this player is a little crappier, um, but he still opens well, so it's still might as well be a standard for higher player. And then the next one is a little more up to up to par skill wise. Um, so we open double apples, set up our sky blaster, put the token in attack to start going for damage. He's going to widespread the Sky Blaster, sure, whatever, um, don't care at all. Um, now he's going to Dampa summon, don't care about Dampa. Um, now he's going to whiz here. Because, yeah, I don't know, it's like Dampa pop my token, sure. Like, I want him to attack. Um, not going to be able to... So this is where I was, like, in a weird situation. Like, I was debating, I was debating just Canadian, just maybe, like, maybe I could bait the whiz negate, I don't know why I would, but... And like you had to be a total monkey to get that, and then I was like, I was like, I want to get the doomsday day in the back row, but I was clogged up by both golden apples. Like at the beginning of the game, I was debating setting one or both, but uh, both pays off here. So he's gonna beat down for 100 off game. I'm gonna Canadian the whiz, and I'm like, sure, he negates it, fine. And now it's like if he doesn't negate the Canadian, then whiz is flipped face down, and he can't negate anything else. So might as well keep it face up, I guess. Now I'm gonna double apples. For two thirty one hundred nine is trigger D draw. It doesn't even matter at this point. I think I draw. I think I D draw for econ. Uh, but like, I, then I'm just like, ah, screw it. Just start poking over, swinging over everything. And it doesn't even matter. He has the beat here, but he's, I think he just scoops it up. Oh no, he gets another whiz, right? But I just clear it again. Like, I 
have an idea. Like, yeah, he's done from here. Yep, just gonna clear to everything again. Yeah, he just scoops it up there, right? So that was that replay. Uh, Golden Apples putting in work. There's two 3100 BD bullies. Um, another one against for hire. Yami versus Seto again. Haha, <laughs> I have silver, you have bronze. Suck it. I think the last case he got by, like, actually participated in was the one back in November of last year. I think I got 105th globally, and that was... I was mad, man. I lost, like, three in a row at the end. I think if I had stayed, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have... Uh, I wouldn't have dropped that low. But yeah, we have an ideal opening here. A needle ceiling. Smack. Then we're going to fire as a doomsday in the end phase. Summon that Witch Raider. That right here didn't know something, so that's fine. Yeah, no reason to block that attack. Get those tokens up. Should be for the Witch Raider. Pop the Econ. I don't know why I didn't Econ in defense there. That was a misplay on his part. I think we were fine there. In Canada and another needle. I don't know. It would have been a different game, but... Weird. Anyway. There's that game right there. Smack, smack. It's a very, very solid deck. I, I really enjoy it. I think it has competitive potential, if I'm being honest. I Just the versatility of D-Draw is always great, and finally being able to make use of it again. I don't know. It's no Sphere Karibo, so it's true need, uh, true need uh, susceptible, I guess, in that sense. But What deck isn't true need susceptible? So you just got to accept those losses. Um but yeah, I don't know. It's like not... Like, Tretch doesn't do anything. Like, cool. You pop my Sky Blaster and my Sky Blaster token. That's fine. Like, I mean, I guess... Oh, this is nice. Uh, hmm. uh, so, probably for higher again. How fortunate for us. Let's see if we can stomp him. Too. So, a little Sky Blaster here. But yeah, like I was saying, like, I, this deck plays well. I just like the theory behind it, and it's, it doesn't brick, like, as you can see, it's just, I mean, I mean, every deck bricks every once in a while, but, like, it, I, I haven't had, like, a really hard brick where I was all totally unable to play, and I think this is hazy. Needle ceiling doesn't target, so we are fine, boy. Wait, is this Feng Hong? Oh, okay, if that was Feng Hong, I would have been screwed. Ha! Huh? Actually, that kind of sucks for us. Dang, I wanted him to hit that. Oh, wait, I can... Why? Why? Just why? I guess... I don't know, man. Like, what was the point of that? I guess to protect your hazy, sure. That's fine. Um, screw it. Let's go aggressive here. I've got backup to do this. And the cool thing about Creature Caesar is it targets the opponent. Like, your opponent gives you the monster. Like, you don't target the monster to switch. Each player gives control their their choice. So like the it's like creature swap in that sense. It doesn't target. I'm not gonna use hazy effect. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be like one of the best DMs I've ever seen if I use hazy effect in there. I might do it next turn. Fuck it. What you got, boy? You can mazo again for another one. Like I'm fine. Like there's no. I don't think there's any way I'm losing this game, especially against a hazy player. Like, with fires face down, I can just fire as a needle ceiling to clear his three monsters. Oh, no. Um, like, is this beat down? Yeah, it's beat down. I, I, I knew that. So, like... Hmm. A few weird positions here. So... If I fire here into needle ceiling... And draw Phantom Sky Blaster, I win. If I let him kill this, Doomsday in the end phase, maybe draw into Witch Raider, I win. If I just let him kill this and do nothing, and then wait for his attack on the next turn, assuming he doesn't have ma anti magic arrows, like, if he had saved that, I'm just gonna let this die here. Like, I think our best play, depending on what we draw, is just let him attack and then we apples. Hmm. Hmm. You know, honestly, with that draw, I'm just gonna fire here. 
Just so that if he summons another monster, we can just immediately deal with ceiling. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this way, you know, ceiling is live. I'll take that. Come on, Bubby. Pick it up. There you go. Draw that card. I draw! Kaiba, my grandfather's deck has no pathetic cards. Another tribute? Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, uh, why not? Screw it. Got mm -hmm. a normal summon this time. So. so I think I'm going to fires here just in, ah, uh, hmm. It's like if we draw a Witch Raider. So, like, if a fire's here, it gives us a chance to draw Witch Raider for game, as well as draw Shadow Sky Blaster for game. Huh! Yep, there we go. 400 IQ plays, boys. 400 IQ. Oh, I forget we could be trapped. It's like it doesn't even matter. Smack. Spear Creeper? You got that Spear Creeper? Nah! Yeet! There we go, boys. Alright. This is a fun deck. I incur for all you pay to win players who, or pay to lose, I guess in this case, players who have all these fires and doom days in Canada. I, uh, I, I encourage you to try this deck. It's very fun. Let's see what this hazy build was looking like. I need a hazy, hazy build that plays in multiple images. Ugh, hippogriff. <laughs> Forehead. <laughs> Alright, guys. Catch you around.